Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. I'm going to do a really quick tutorial uh, as a recap of what we're going to learn today. And so if you need help, you can go back through this. I'm going to go very quickly though, so feel free to stop it and rewind it as you need. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a um, stop motion animation using images from Google and PowerPoint and Windows Movie Maker. What I've done first is I've gone to Google and I typed in what I'm after, in this case background forest, and I found a picture that I like, and this is what I'm going to use as a background. Remember it's best to go to view image so you can get the biggest picture you can. And I'm going to right click to save image as, and I'm going to save this to my desktop. I've already created a folder called UFO Invasion. You'll want to save it to your personal directory. So I saved my background image. The next thing I want to save or want to find is a picture of a UFO. But I'm going to add PNG to that because I want to find a picture that doesn't have a white square around it. And oftentimes PNG images will be transparent so you can see through uh, part of the image. Now you might not be able to tell it on your screen, but if you look it up on your computer, you will. This particular one has a gray and white checkerboard and that lets you know this is a see-through image. So this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna choose view image. I'm gonna right click, do save image as. I'm gonna call this UFO and save it in my folder. Again, you need to save it in your directory. So I have the files that I want. Now I'm gonna open up PowerPoint. And it's very simple to make these animations in PowerPoint. It's a lot of fun, doesn't take much time at all, and you can use it for a lot of different applications, even math problems. You can have, you know, math numbers solve, uh, solve themselves, so to speak, with a stop motion. So what I'm going to do is I've started a blank presentation, and I'm going to add my background first. Now, rather than go to Insert Picture, I'm going to right-click on the background and choose Format Background. I have an option for picture or texture fill on the right, and I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to choose insert picture, and I'm going to go to my desktop and go find my background picture, and here it is. And now that is set it as the background, so it's not going to move on me, which is exactly what I want. Now the UFO, I want to be a movable object, so for that I need to go to insert picture and then go add my UFO. So here it is. You'll notice you can see through it, which is awesome, exactly what I wanted. And we're going to do a little trick here that artists figured out a long time ago, was that if you make things small, it tricks your brain into believing it's far away. And if you make things big, then it makes your brain believe they're close. So I'm going to start with my little UFO really small, way back here in the back of the trail. So to make my stop motion, all I have to do is come over here to slide number one, and right click on it and choose duplicate slide. Now on slide two, I'm gonna click on my UFO and I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger like he's coming towards us. So again, I'm just gonna keep doing that process and each time I'm gonna make him just a little bit bigger or move him just a little bit. Now to get a really good uh, animation, you want to make these movements very small because uh, the smaller the movements, the smoother the animation's gonna be. But for the sake of our thing we're doing here, I'm just gonna move them kind of quickly, uh, just so that you can see. And let's do one final one, and we'll make him look really big, like he's coming right at us, okay? So, if I click back on number one, I can use my down arrows and kind of get a feel for what my animation is gonna look like right there. I need to do two important things. The first one I probably should have done at the beginning and that is save my project. So I'm gonna to go to save as, go to computer, click on browse. Now again, you want to go to your personal directory. I'm going to my desktop and I am going to save this as a PowerPoint presentation and that allows me to come back into it and edit it if I need to. Now to make the animation though, we're gonna do the same step with one real important change. So save as computer browse, make sure you're where you want to be, but instead of saving as PowerPoint, we're gonna come down and save it as a JPEG. Oops, actually it shows ping, which you could do that, but let's do JPEG. So when I click save, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna save all of the slides as JPEG picture images or just this one slide? I want to do all of them. So I click all the slides and it's gonna tell me it has saved them all. So it took all of these slides and made them individual pictures. So I'm gonna close that out. I don't need it anymore. Now I'm gonna go into Windows Live Movie Maker. 
I can see it here. If you don't have it at home and you have Windows, it's free. So you can go to Microsoft and actually download it for free. If you're using a Mac, you could use iMovie and do the same type of things we're doing here. So the first thing I want to do in Movie Maker is I want to add my photos. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to go find all my slides, and here they are. I'm going to click Open, and it's added them all in. The problem is, if I go under here under Edit Tools, you'll notice the duration is 7 seconds. So that tells me this slide's going to stay up for 7 seconds, and this slide for 7 seconds, and that's going to be a very slow and boring animation. So what I'm going to do here with all of them selected, and if you don't have them all selected, a quick way to do it is select the first one, hold your Shift key down, and select the last one. And that's going to select them all and I'm gonna change the duration. Now I could do the pull down menu, but that only lets me go down to one second and I want them to go by even faster than that. So I'm just gonna click and delete those numbers and I'm gonna put 0.25. So I just told Movie Maker I want it to last for a quarter of a second. So now when I start at number one, I click play, you'll see that it comes through a whole lot faster. So two things that we need to do that are really important now. The first thing is I need to save my project. So go to uh, pull this down and do save project as. And what this is doing is saving your movie maker project in case you need to get back in here and make changes. Now, if a teacher, or in this case, you're just wanting to make a movie, you've got another step to do to make the movie. So in order to make the movie, once you've saved your project, we're gonna go back to here and come down to save movie. Notice it's a different word, say movie, and we're gonna choose for computer. And so it's gonna pop up a new uh, save thing, and I'm gonna call it UFO Invasion Movie. But notice the save as type now says Windows Media Video File. What this is gonna do, it's gonna turn all of these images into a single video file. So anytime a teacher gives you an assignment, this is what you need to turn into them. Do not send them your project file. They can't do anything with that. They need to have your completed video. So I click save. It turns it all into a movie. And if I click play, we have our movie going on there. And that is simply all there is to it. So good luck with doing stop motions. I think you'll enjoy doing them. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know.